You've screwed up every adult relationship you've ever had, so you're throwing yourself at a teenager. And a damaged one at that. He killed your brother. Um, maybe I don't believe that anymore. You are the one who convinced me. There are a whole lot of people that he has hurt, Delphi, and I don't want you to be next. Thanks, Chris, but I can look after myself. I don't think so. Because of your whole anti-marriage thing, right? I just thought you'd like to be included. Not really. We can pick up a couple of witnesses at the registry office. I'll get ready and get out of your hair. Are you sure you're okay with this? Totally. I just don't want anything to do with it. <laughs> See, that makes me think that you're not comfortable with it. As it happens, I am thinking about work. I need to gain points with a new boss, and taking time off for a fake wedding isn't going to impress him, is it? Mm, guess not. It's your thing. I don't need to be involved. I thought you want to be. Fine, I'll take a cut of the ten grand. <laughs> but if your father's so filthy rich, how come she's taking a backpacker? Ah, uh, he's a no easy handout kind of guy. But he comes through for the biggies. And the chance for her to live in LTO qualifies. Why? Um, something to do about a boyfriend back home we didn't improve of. The further away from him she is, the better. Are you going to be reading for much longer? Why? Because if you are, I might think about going out. Please yourself? I'd rather please you. Can you wait five minutes? If you can. Go away. What are you doing? You've been gone ages. Why we didn't get to eat? So you hungry? Probably. Yeah. RJ, what happened to the champagne? It's in the fridge. Are you scared of getting it off my face again? No. Don't worry, I don't need it. This is... Lucy's? Yeah. Yeah, she left in a bit of a hurry. You break up. Was it about me? always been about you. Translation, I liked you. You liked me, but you were too scared because I was so young. Well, you were scared too. And all the time we should have been together. But hey, we made it. And you're okay? Yes. <laughs> always so stroppy. I'm okay too. Now I just need to get my head around all of this. A few calories might help. Or a closed circuit TV so I can see what's going on at home. Tina Ann will be fine. I know. I just didn't think I'd miss her so much. And I'm worried about the music. What music? Eltham's music. Yeah, he plays it so loud. He won't. Look, I know I thought he was a no-hoper to begin with, but mm. I thought you had heaps more faith in your cars. <sighs> You're right. They'll be fine. I just need to get on with it. Well, nice easy one to start with. Need this typed up. Uh, when? Well, right now, as soon as you can. Double spacing, standard format. I know you could do it in your sleep, but speed's really the thing here, Wave. If you... Wave? What? Did you hear anything I just said? Yeah, double spacing, ASAP. And your spell check it, proof it, yeah? Are you trying to tell me how to do my job? It's just that Andrew's a real stickler, and I've really talked you up to him, said you were the best. 
Yeah, don't worry. It'll be perfect. I know. As soon as it's done, shoot it upstairs, eh? Yeah, OK. Kia ora, Shortland Street. Alpha, what's wrong? I can hear her crying. What's happened? So, what are you going to wear? To your boyfriend's wedding. I'm not going. Man, I can't believe you're letting him go through with it. Well, I am. Well, no normal girl would. I guess I'm not a normal girl then. Remind yourself about that when uh, Leonie and Norman start sleeping together. Well, don't be ridiculous. It's not going to happen. Ah, uh, newsflash. Immigration department does dawn rates. You know, just in case naughty couples are getting married for residency and not for love. So, Norman's bed, you're out, and Leonie's in. They don't have to go that far. And newsflash, not as funny as you think you are. Can you confirm or deny rumour? It depends. The nurses reckon the new CEO's got to make staff cuts. Sounds like a rumour to me. <laughs> doesn't mean it's not true. Well, they can't make cuts here. I mean, we're understaffed as it is. It doesn't bother the number crunches. So you must have heard. Is it true? Are there going to be staff cuts? Pass. I can't answer that. Or won't. Part. And the subject's closed. Now, Mr Matthews has just come back from dialysis. I'd appreciate a briefing. I think we're entitled to know... Mr whether... Matthews, thank you. Now... I can expect the DHP report when. Waves hard at work as we speak. End of the day for sure. Four o'clock at the latest. I do want to have a chance to... What's this about? Well, I think it's fairly clear. Not on. This room is for the use of all staff. Hold on. I'll, I'll deal with it. Well, your wife, no doubt. Make it very clear this is not to happen again. If she's in there feeding, she's not doing the report, is she? Don't worry. I'll sort it. you. What's going on? Oh, Eltham rang. She wouldn't take the bottle and he panicked so I said to bring her in. Well, you shouldn't have. This shouldn't be happening. What? I can't feed my starving baby. She's not starving, Wave. She's not now. When Eltham brought her in, she was howling. He can't just take over the staff room. Well, I can't feed her in admissions, can I? Well, it's inappropriate anywhere here. This is a workplace. Gosh, is that what it is? I'm only going to be a few more minutes. I can't really see the problem. You've got to think of other people. Their needs. Other staff members use this room. And no one's stopping them. Well, that sign might be. Well, that's their problem. But Andrew saw the sign and he didn't like it, so it becomes your problem if it happens again. But it won't, will it? Well, hopefully not. About that report. Well, that's what this is all really about, isn't it? It happens to be important. And I'll get back to it as soon as I can. For now, shush. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's my greedy little piggy wiggy. I don't normally listen to rumours, but if jobs are going to be lost, then I thought I should make a case for myself. I know last in, first out is usually the rule, and I was last in, but I have a couple of strong advantages I'd like you to consider. My grades are excellent. If you check my academic... I have. It's outstanding. And then there's potential. Some doctors have more clinical experience than me, but I have the potential to reach the top of my field. I wouldn't dispute that for a moment. Of course, it's not a competition, but in a sense, it is. Dr Chen, I've investigated the records and achievements of all my staff, and I'm impressed with your abilities. I'm very keen to remain at Shortland Street. Noted. However, the decision doesn't rest with me. Oh? If staff cuts are to be made, Dr Valentine's the man you want to speak to. 